quarter in the March, you were at $101,803,000. But that also has improved, so I'm going to let Mike give you the uh, the, uh, the real good news. And I just wanted to uh, provide you an update. Obviously, that information there was through the first three months of the, of the year. Um, <coughs> uh, April has continued to be a it was a pretty good month as well as so far here in May. Um, so the uh, pension balance right now uh, through yesterday was uh, 105 million 139 thousand. And that's given us a uh, return of 10.88%. Uh, it's almost 11% year to date. Um, so, it's like uh, he had said, uh, those numbers have improved. Uh, as far as the asset allocation and the investment policy is concerned, um, we have about five, uh, I'm sorry, about 3% right now in cash. Our target is about 5%. So we're we're right around that target. The range that we can be in is 0 to 10%, so we're within that position there. Uh, equities or stocks, we're currently at uh, about 69%. Uh, that's including REITs. Uh, we are allowed to have a, a REIT position in there. Um, REITs right now uh, are right around 5 actually around 8%. Uh, we can have that range between 0 and 10%, so we're within that range as well. Um, just the equity position, uh, we're uh, about 69 percent. Uh, we can be within the range of 50 to 70 percent of uh, stocks or equities. And where we're a little bit weak uh, is fixed income, and uh, that's around 28 percent. Our target is 35 percent, and our range should be about between 30 and 40 percent. I think that makes sense. I mean, stocks and equities have actually been outperforming the bonds. The bond market's been pretty flat here to date. Um, so our equity position is growing and our bond position is staying flat. So it kind of makes sense. Um, our recommendation to the board, the pension board, is to pretty much keep our allocation the way it is right now. Uh, while equities are doing well, let's take advantage of that. Um, when the times arise and we need to take some money out of the pension uh, plan, we try to do that accordingly. Uh, probably taking a little bit more right now out of equities while they're still growing, and that will also help us get our allocation and targets, you know, more closely aligned. Um, and if you remember in 2007 and 2008, for those of you that were on the board, I know Bob and Bill were not, um, there was a time that we were not quite in those ranges, and we, as a board, decided to keep keep things the way they were. We had more bonds at that time and less equities, and it seemed to play itself out and, and made sense to do that. So that would be our recommendation to the board. Uh, take out $1.6 million year-to-date from the plan. Uh, so that's uh, 